healthy school meals are an important part of any school. And in Lancashire, the council takes school meals and the people who cook them very seriously indeed. They're soon hoping to set up 14 new training kitchens around the county, but for a while now, the council's had the special status as one of 26 school fee centres in England. These centres of excellence aim to improve the overall training for cooks who work in school kitchens. It's to um, improve the school cook skills, to give them the skills to be able to produce nutritionally balanced meals, but not just nutritionally balanced meals, nutritional meals that children will eat, because there's no nutrition in food if they don't eat it. The training's organised by Lancashire with the help of partners like local colleges who help to access the funding. And cooks get a range of training to improve their skills. The idea is that no matter how long they've been doing it, there's always room for improvement. All the way through being a catering manager, a chef or anything like that, you're learning all the time. And things, it has to move on. You can't just stay as you are. Things are changing, the new standards are coming in and everything. So you need to keep training, you need to keep moving on to keep up with everyone. And there are big advantages in giving cooks new skills. Lancashire says there's now better staff attendance amongst school cooks in their 500 or so schools. And as far as the customers are concerned, the school meal take-up has also improved. The benefits of training for Lancashire are that we've got a very well-motivated staff now. They're very enthusiastic and they use their skills. They're innovative, uh, they're creative when they're producing their meals and they get the bug. So when they've done one course, they want to do another one, then they want to do another one. And it's quite really fantastic to see that. Um, and what I say is it impacts on our service in the fact that sickness levels are reduced which is fantastic, and the turnover of staff is less, so we get staff that stay with us longer, which is even better. School fee centres offer training at several levels for everyone involved in school meals, and the training is tailored to the specific needs of the people taking part. So there's a level of training covering practical hands-on cooking and the provision of healthier school meals. Then there's also MVQ Level 2 training in professional cookery and also food processing and cooking qualifications. We're one of 26 fee centres in the country. And what I say to everyone else out there, or other employers, or other authorities, find out what's on offer, see what they can tap into and use it because it helps your service in the end of the day. And that can only be great. Of course, training takes time and resources, which might be irksome for some schools. Here, cooks spend three paid hours an evening on their courses, but they found the inconvenience is well worth it. Always inconvenient to do training, but then you get the benefits back from it. So I'm, I'm afraid we put up with a bit of inconvenience occasionally to get the right, get the job done properly. I think it's brilliant. I mean, I've been in school meals a long time, and I've seen uh, demoralised ladies because they haven't been able to use the skills. So they've had a refresh of skills. Girls that have never had any skills have been. Uh, advanced, progressed, so yes, I think it's quite, they, they do need it. I'd say it's built my confidence a lot, it has made a really good relationship with the school and the children and the staff, it's been a very positive experience and I definitely recommend it. I think School Feast is a way forward for all schools and it's a way that we can positively use the opportunities that uh, a healthy diet provides for us as educators.